Welcome to Statesboro, Georgia, in what many refer to as the prettiest little stadium in America and home to the Georgia Southern Eagles. But trust me, it can get a little ugly if you come in here and you're not an eagle. Today, a showdown of a couple of foes from the Sun Belt. As we'll see, the Troy Trojans taking on the Georgia Southern Eagles. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Trojans will boot it away to start the game. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. So the Georgia Southern Eagles offense will start this game off. And when you take the field with the confidence, the swag that this guy does, David, it just really elevates your confidence in the passing game. That receivers don't usually lack confidence, and those are the guys that kind of set the tone. And that swagger sets the tone for this offense, and Jesse, you know he's going to make plays. And that speed scares defenses, too, because he can take the top off quick. These safeties better get back deep, or else this guy's going to take it to the house. And the Eagles want to move quickly. On the move, it's White. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Defense is about firing off, hitting the offensive guys and staying in your gaps, everybody knowing where they're supposed to be. You could tell the defense, everyone was right where they're supposed to be, nowhere to run. Ball sitting right at the 30. It'll be third and short. Looking for a man. It's French. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. He gets those chains moving, gets it out to the 42-yard line. And on that third and short, I don't think he was unhappy to see that zone. Nope. It's a great job by the offense. Hey, see where the holes in the zone are? Sit down. You only need a little bit of yards on this third down. Get the conversion. Move the sticks. Leaves it with the back. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. First down, physicality wins football games. Being able to run the football, create balance. And, and right here, just choose up another first down. Gives you another chance to maybe continue to run the football. And I feel like this guy, too, is just an explosive play waiting to happen. His vision, his quickness, and he's got a burst. If you give this guy just a crease, he's going to hit it. And right now, he's doing some damage on this defense. He's there to make the stop, and they threw it in reverse, losing yardage on that play. He was not fooled on that one. You know, a lot of times you want to buy space, and you throw this route really when it's off coverage. But you could tell the cornerback was up, ready to come, pounce on that screen, and get the tackle for a loss. Off the play fake. Going for the big play. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Yeah, and I like the shot, the aggressive play down the field. And we like throwing those jump balls up to my receiver because usually the receiver makes the play and makes the defender look bad. Nice job by the defender getting a hand on it, tipping that ball away from the wide receiver. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. QBs and receivers on third down, everything has to happen just a split second sooner. You're expecting pressure. The quarterback gets hit just now on the same page with his target. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. First punt of the day, and he'd love to lock them up close to their goal line. So Troy's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Typically, the last thing a defense wants is to have a backer on a wide receiver, but we may see some of that today, guys. Typically, you don't see linebackers that can run like this guy, and that's why they feel okay letting him cover this dynamic wide receiver one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, and, and feel okay, it's not going to be a good thing. You better get your hands on him early. Put your physicality, let that win. It ain't going to be your speed. 
A nice job by the defense there tackling the catch and smothering the tight end. They know this offense is going to try to find him in the passing game in a lot of different situations. That time, perfect coverage, and nice job bringing the big guy down. Not easy to do. Scanning the field, it's Crowder. Throws to the wideout. Finds a man by himself. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. That's what's so scary about this offense. They've got guys in the perimeter that can change the game in one single play. And you saw it right there. Too much speed on the perimeter to create that explosive play. They'll throw it on first down. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. The quarterback had no shot on that play. He had a defender bearing down on him. He knew he was going to get hit. I think he should have just thrown that thing out of bounds. He's lucky that wasn't picked throwing into double coverage. Now second and ten. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And they sniff that draw out. When the draw, you know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting it. You could tell they were ready for it. Came, got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and in a hurry. Trying to move the sticks on third down through the air. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. Defense coming up with a huge fumble recovery. Third and long equals pass almost every single time. Pin your ears back, go get the quarterback. Great job by the defense understanding the situation. Everybody flying upfield, putting pressure. Know the quarterback's going to hold it. Get to him, strip, sack, you get the rock. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. After punting the last time they had it, they ought to be set up for a much better result with this drive. This offense better be licking their chops. You're not going to start with better field position than this all game did. You ain't lying. Forget about the last possession and what we did. You're already in scoring position. Take care of that football. Make sure you get some points. They'll try again on second down after the incompletion. He'll keep it himself. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it, and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. Just got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. Throws for the tight end. He makes a catch. There was tight coverage, but a perfect throw and catch, and they've got it at the nine first end goal. The Eagles want to crank the tempo. To the air. It's French. Got it. Crisp execution in the passing game, and they've got it down to the three. Nice completion here to this wide receiver, and you're going to see this receiver line up in different spots all over the field all game long. Defense has got to keep their eye on where this guy is because they know he's a big part of this offensive success. They've got it down to the three. Now it's second and goal. Trying to barge in. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point makes it 7-0. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. 
Kickoff team lining up to send this one away. On the move from inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. They'll run it out of the shotgun. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. And it's just simple. Simple first down run, showing your physicality, setting your offense up in a good spot. Got three on first down at second and seven. The give to the back. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot it at the 37. Well, with the weapons this offense has, you knew it was just a matter of time in the run game before someone was going to break a long one. They'd just been running into a wall. They just couldn't seem to find their creases and get enough movement up front, but they finally got it there, picking up the first. Let's see what happens next. They've got it at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun. They'll run it inside. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Softened him up with a run, and now to throw. Finds a soft spot in the middle. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. There's a great saying in football. It's not the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. Well, my Jimmy's better than your Joe. And the Trojans are flying down the field. Taylor has it. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Well, they're trying to run the football there, just nowhere to go. They got dominated up front at the point of attack. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Running back searching for a hole. And they'll stop him after a minimal pickup. A third and long coming up here. Dropping back, it's Crowder. Unloads to the wideout. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Good pass protection isn't just offensive line, right? Running backs also have to be able to pick up the blitz. That running back did an outstanding job. That allowed his quarterback to just buy a little bit more time before making that throw. Looking to go up top on first down. He looks that one in nicely. And he'll run it into the end zone. Touchdown, Troy! One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And it's up and good. So an 82-yard drive there. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. 
Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Looking for room, it's White. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow, it's second and seven. They want to get this defense on its heels. To the air, it's French. Finds a tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Picked up some yardage on that completion, but still a third down. From the gun, wants to pass. And to get rid of it quickly. Just tried to ease it out there, and it falls incomplete. Well, the quarterback and his intended target just simply didn't have the timing there. The ball falls incomplete on third, now setting up fourth down. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. On the return, it's Ross. Everybody stays in their lanes well enough, and they stop him at the 31-yard line. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. This could be a real turning point in the game. They scored a touchdown. They got a stop, and now a chance to break the tie. Yeah, this offense has got it cooking, man. And how about the defense? Great job getting that stop, getting the football right back to the hot hand. Now this offense, Palmer, has a chance to take the lead. You can see the offense, too. They understand the situation right now. They were jonesing on the sidelines to get another opportunity to run back on the field. They are ready to drive this ball and go score. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. Lining up, trying to convert this third and short from the 40. Off the bootleg and rolling out. Quarterback just flat missed it. Incomplete. Third and short like that on your own side of the field. You're just looking for a quick hitter. You're trying to get the ball out of your hand quickly, but the timing completely off there for the offense, and the ball falls incomplete. The Trojans send out the punt unit. The punter going to get his first work of the afternoon. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. David, the putter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Georgia Southern in a hurry. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. And he's knocked down. I think the OC would have been really happy with a small game and, and an easier third down. But how about the effort by the running back to get this close? He, he saw the first down marker, tried to get to it, got close enough now where it's an easy situation on third down. And shoot, and I got fourth down in my pocket if I want to go for it. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 25. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Brought down to the ground, but he has enough for the first down. Well, the defense is on their heels right now. They're going to have to find a way to stop this guy. When he's got a head of steam, boy, he is hard to bring down.
Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. After the run, 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 now to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Cobb. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. If they're going to sit back in zone, I'm going to make sure I know exactly what they're doing, find those holes, find those crossing patterns, and take advantage of that zone coverage. Georgia Southern really efficient on offense. on the ground once that ball was loose offense didn't have a chance defenders everywhere it's a turnover first down here for the offense fires to the wide out he's brought down but there's a flag on the field let's see which way that's gonna go so the decision has been made and the coach will take the penalty They've gotten this thing up and running fast. Back and forth. We're inside a minute to play in the first. A confident, tough, efficient run. Gets it up to the 44. Kept it on the ground last time. Let's see if they go back to it on second down. Looking to throw. It's Crowder. They're setting up the screen. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Love the execution there on the screen. The running back shows pass protect, pass protect. Last second turns around, so he's able to get the ball. The D linemen have already run past him. Now he can turn upfield for a big gainer. Time winding down in the quarter as they come to the line. In the gun and looking to throw on third down. Got a man. It's Parker. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. We're through one, and what a back-and-forth battle between these two quarterbacks as we look at the stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. And the Trojans will call on their punt team. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. Making sure there's no return on that one as the punt sails out of bounds. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. After that last drive, he came back to the sideline and the coach probably said, you dropped it and you didn't pick it up? Come on, get on the ball, David. No, nah, that's not what he said. He said, you're doing a great job. Just keep your head up. Oh, yeah, he got blasted. You've got to hold on to the football, Palmer. Turnovers to side games, those are big plays. It's tough on him, too, because he knows he let his offense down on that last drive. So you know that guy's eager and anxious to come out here and make a play. Georgia Southern in a hurry. They'll go to the ground. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Moving quickly, trying to rattle the D. To the air, it's French. Fires to the big fella. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. Well, this tight end, he's got size and he's got some athleticism, and he's very difficult to cover one-on-one. -on -one. Defense is going to have their hands full with them today. They'll snap this one from the 32. It's first down. They'll give it to the back. Got behind those pads and picked up three out to the 35. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Oh, 
Looking for space. It's Blight. Just sort of a relentless run, getting everything that was available to him, and they'll mark him down at the 40. And a nice job by the offense picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. Now staring at a third and short from the 40. Motion from the offense. Quick pass on the fly motion. All kinds of running room. He's at the 20. And he'll take it in. They couldn't get him on the ground. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. Backed up in the shadow of their own goalpost. No problem. When you start in the black zone inside your own 20 coming out, it's difficult. You can give up a safety. You get worried about that. The offense puts a great drive together. Great job executing. Great job getting a touchdown. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. So that scoring drive took only six plays. And the score comes courtesy of an explosive play in the passing game from 60 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. Looking for blockers. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. Looking for a productive play on first down. He'll pull it on the read. Just wanted to find a little space to run and ekes out some to get it up to the 21. How easy was that? I mean, when you got a quarterback that can run design runs like this and, and get you five-plus yards just and make it look that easy, God, it makes it really hard for the defenses to stop. Kept it on the ground on first down. Let's see what they do on second. The give is to Taylor. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Now the defense will try to rise up on third and short from the 21. Quarterback on the keeper. At the 35, he's loose. And they'll get it to the 39-yard line, and they'll move the chains. It's hard to understate how much it's worth to have a guy who can run just enough to pick up a first down, to keep a drive alive, to avoid a negative play. He's just got enough. Everybody could be covered on a pass play, and he can go and get the first down for you. He can make maybe one or two guys miss and just stretch the football past the sticks to keep the drive alive. He'll loft one deep down the left side. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Hey, listen, the quarterback didn't get the completion on that throw, but that doesn't mean you can't try again. Trusting your playmakers outside to push the field and stretch it vertically and make a play for you. It won't surprise me to see this QB take more shots as this game goes on. Wants to throw. It's Crowder. And he'll chuck that one away and save the down. Nobody was able to get open. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. Just a short pass to the tight end. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. All right, they get the completion. Don't get the first down. So we've got a massive decision now, fourth and inches. Personally, I like QB sneak. I think that picks it up right here. No matter where you are in the field, you can keep this drive going. The Trojans will send out the punt unit. And the punt will hit at the seven, and they can't corral it. It goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Looking to move it through the air. Throws to the tight end. A strike downfield. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop.
Georgia Southern in a hurry. Trying to find his man on first down. Nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away. Well, you know what they say, tips lead to picks. And the offense, they're lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Second and 10 after the previous play. Gives it to the back on the draw. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. you got to have that defense you know you can go to in running situations. Your base defense where you say, okay, this is where I'm going to start, and I'm going to stop the run, stuff it up front. My guys play big up front. And then if I need to add some blitzes to it later on down the road, I can. But well, great job in the base defense making a play. And they'll keep it away from the return man as the punt goes out of bounds. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. They'll leave it with him. Yeah, it's a bit of a surge, and he's knocked down after picking up three to the 26. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. From the gun, they'll give it on the inside. Tackle is made at the 28 after a pickup of three. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Dropping back, it's Crowder. Unloads to the right. Complete downfield. They'll get it to the 48. No need to measure. It's a first down. Well, we know this guy is special. And because of that, his quarterback is looking to him on critical down and distances. There on that third down, there was no question. It wouldn't have mattered if he was single covered, double covered, man zone. That's where he was going with it. And the big time playmaker outside picks up the first. And he was on his way, and they get him down at the 30. Man, I want to be a running back in this offense. When you take that hand off to the right and you see that blocking and all the holes open up, that's a good sight for a running back. You've heard of read and react. I think the defense read it. They just didn't react very well. Well, when you got that kind of a line, just all that push they're getting on that right side, they just pushed the defensive lineman back, got in the linebacker's laps, and man, oh, man, it was, it was brutal up front. Got it in the middle, it's Connor. I'll say this, man, in college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackle. Got some of the work done on first. Now let's see what they have on second down. He's looking to throw. Catch in the middle, it's green. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Already in chip shot field goal range at the 21, but this third and short, they're still thinking touchdown. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. That just never had a chance as they controlled the middle of the field and stopped him in the backfield on third down. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. 
kick is good. The offense has three points to show for the drive. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. Out of the end zone. Rolling the dice to bring it out of the end zone did not work out as he stopped at the 13. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Pulls it in. It's Burgess. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are and they work with their quarterback and they find them and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays. Georgia Southern in a hurry. Back to pass, it's French. They'll throw it to the back on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. Again, this is a running back that can hurt you running it between the tackles, and he's dangerous out in space. They like to throw it to him out on the perimeter as he picks up a couple yards there. Third and short. They've got them back up inside the 20, and the D can get the ball back here. From the gun, wants to pass. The quick out. They'll move those chains, getting it out to the 29-yard line and trying to get this drive rolling. That is going to drive this defensive coordinator. It's a lot of DCs. They focus a ton of energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. If this defense gives up a couple more third down conversions like that, they are going to be in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. Leaves it with the back. They knock him down after he picks up five out to the 34. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make him honor the run. Make him know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give to the back. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. A lot of urgency for this offense. Bully ball on third and short. They'll move the chains after he gets it to the 43-yard line. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Good spot after that seven-yard pickup on first down. It's second and three. On the ground, it's white. And he's able to bounce off one tackle, but still not a whole lot of running room. Man, that D-tackle is a freak athlete. Did you see him come out of his stance and beat the offensive lineman? Getting to the running back, cat-like quickness. It's third down now, and they ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. They'll snap it from the 48 on third and short. Looking to throw, it's French. 
Incomplete, and he threw that one up for grabs and into traffic, and fortunate to get it back. Really nice job by the defense, playing aggressive, understanding it could be a running situation, but still playing disciplined enough to play the pass and be successful on that third and short. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. So, guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Got his man in the middle. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. It's a nice job running the in route there by the receiver. And the best thing he did after he made his break, he didn't trail and fade away. He actually attacked the football. That's a good lesson for young receivers out there watching. They'll try to kick it into overdrive. Clock's running, second down coming. He's looking to throw. Snagged in the middle, it's Higgins. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Now they'll line it up from the 44 on first and 10. He wants to throw. Got a man. It's Parker. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. It's definitely the wide receiver's job to create space, right? So whether you're running a go or you're running a hitch like this right here, I got to find a way to push off legally or just create a little bit of space to get some positive yards. He wants to pass it on second down. What great protection, and he lets it go down the middle. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half. And as we get deep in this first half, a first and goal and a chance to take the lead before the break. He's looking to throw it. He's got it and still on his feet. Pulled down for the tackle. And that is exactly where the football was supposed to go. Offensive coordinators call drag routes, anticipating man coverage. Even though the ball is only traveling two, three, four yards down the field, if the receiver is able to get a rub and create some separation and the quarterback hits him in stride, that little completion, that can turn into a 20, 30-yard game. And that defense gets to him, and down he goes at the nine. The offense calls timeout, and they won't have any more left this half. Running out of time here in the first half, they're going to have to be efficient to put some points on the board before the break. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down, fourth down coming up. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback. Now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. So they won't get a touchdown, but a chance to put something on the board before halftime. What a disappointment. No good. And it is still a four-point deficit. Well, everybody in the stadium thought that was an automatic three. Not so fast. Bad miss by the kicker. So the offense has done its job. They have the lead, and they'll secure it as we head to halftime. As expected, they're content to run out the clock and go into halftime. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Statesboro. The passing game for both sides has been outstanding. On point, unrelenting. They've excelled in the short game, the intermediate game, and especially on the deep ball. All in all, a thrilling display of offensive firepower. And these defenses have a lot to discuss here at halftime. And with that, let's send it back to the guys inside the prettiest little stadium in America. Second half all teed up in Georgia Southern. We'll start it with the kickoff. He'll start the return inside his five. 
Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. And that will be incomplete. Man, that would have been a big hitter if they could have done it, but second down coming. Really nice play by the defender, being in a good position for that deep ball down the field, not letting the receiver put his big body on him, go up over top. The only thing that could have been better is that thing tipped to another defender, and it was an interception, but great coverage by the defender. And back to the air on second down. And he will be sacked at the six-yard line. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. He's looking downfield to throw. Got it set up on the outside. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Well, they weren't able to gain a lot of real estate on that last completion deep down in their own end. If anything, if you're looking for a silver lining, I guess the punter maybe has a little bit more room to try to get one off now on fourth. And the Trojans line up to punt it away. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Fires to the right. He's got an open man. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Well, another catch by the big fella. And, hey, this defense now in the second level, they've got to understand that they're going to see some play action. They can't keep biting on the fake. It's not easy to do. You've got to be aware of the tight end and his release. As soon as you see him get upfield, right now you know it's pass. So don't even worry about the fake. Get your eyes focused and find the big fella to go make a tackle or make a play on the ball. He pushes his way down to the four as they get closer and closer. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Touchdown, Eagles! And they take it in for six more points. And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You can tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. They'll try to add another to their lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And close the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. Kickoff team has the ball teed up and they're about ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. Off play action on first down. He's going to throw deep right side, and that'll be incomplete. They tried to hit him with a big one on first down. 
And I know most offensive coaches, they're going to be thrilled taking all these 50-50 shots against man coverage. I don't know, though, if they want to keep testing that defensive back. He has been on fire. Couldn't make the connection on first down. Now here on second. Looking to pass. It's Crowder. Looking to the big tight end. Got his man downfield. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. I don't know who on defense is going to cover this guy. Honestly, he could be a problem for this defense over the middle of the field in the passing game. The Trojans headed quickly to the line. Taylor has it. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. How about the defender being a heat-seeking missile? He was on radar lock. He found the football and flew down with some bad intentions. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Stop is made at the 44, but it's a 15-yard gain and a first down. When the running back gets going and gets ahead of steam like that, so hard to get to the ground. That's why you blitz. That's why you bring pressure. That's why you bring more guys in the box so you can get him before he gets going. But once he got going, you could tell it was hard to get a hand on him, hard to get him to the ground. The run from the shotgun. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went to the running game on first down. Now here they come again. On second down, he'll fire. Catch in the middle. It's Connor. He stopped at the 32, picks up 10 on the play, and gets the first down. It's important on offense to get the tight ends involved in the passing game. These are big fellas that can run. This guy's a big target, so nice job on that play. And the Trojans will have it first and ten. Looking downfield, it's Crowder. They've avoided the interception all day, but they're lucky to get that one back here late. It'll be second down. All right, well, the quarterback's showing you he is human after all. Finally throws an incompletion, and not just that. After a couple completions back to back to back, almost throws a pick. After the incompletion, here comes second and ten from the 32. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long gains. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. Guys, this offense is already reeling down multiple possessions. And that pass picked off. The sudden change on the turnover, and Manny was looking for running room. Couldn't find that, but they'll have it at the 22. And this safety is a ball hawk. He's a playmaker. Not only have we seen him get involved in the running game and make tackles playing downfield, but he plays the center field position as well as anybody in college football. You saw it right there. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Pollock. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. After the incompletion, looking at second down. He's looking to throw. He lobs one high down the left side. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And the tackle is made, but not before. That completion gets him 30-plus. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. A 
off the play fake on first down to throw. Going back to the well, another deep ball. And just an awesome job by that defender on that play. Great awareness, and he had his eyes on the quarterback, so he saw the ball thrown, and as such, he was able to go and swat it away. Offense gets set for second down. That'll be a gain of about seven, leaves him with third and three. Man, the evolution of the quarterback position. Basically, you should call them running backs who throw the ball really well now. And guys, you know the other thing that happens here is that sets up the next play because you've sort of left the defensive line gassed trying to run down the quarterback. Oh, you got to be in shape chasing him around all day on design runs, on scrambles, and, you know, it's just... And the plus one advantage you get by having that guy. It's just... It's so hard to defend. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. Georgia Southern in a hurry. They'll throw it on first down. Makes you grab over the middle. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. And a really nice job by the wide receiver. You run a drag route, find space. They're in zone coverage. They're not covering man-to-man. -man. Find a little hole. Look at that QB. Y'all get on the same page. You can tell they were, and that's why they got the first down. The RPO, fire complete to the left. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. Oh, that just really nice catch by the big tight end. Throwing those mitts up there, catching the football. They've been able to control the ball. This is the seventh play of the drive. It's third and three. Back to throw, it's French. Pocket starts to collapse. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense just cradling that fumble and securing it. Everything's bouncing and jiggling and rolling, and it's going forward, and he's loose. Touchdown, Troy. The defense takes matters into their own hands. The defense striking with a scoop and score touchdown. And defense is about getting guys to the football. Sometimes you just get that hit, the ball pops out, more guys swarm into the football. Great effort. Scoop that thing up. Now do some damage with it. You always wanted to play offense anyways. Convert that defensive player, offensive player. Give me that six. They'll try to get the two-point conversion here and make it a three-point game. He wants to throw it. He gets it in for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by only three. That is a defensive player's dream. Ball sitting there, chance to scoop it up, run with it, and they don't stop you until the band starts playing. And he takes this from inside the five. And good work by the coverage team to get the return man down on the ground. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. Gonna run it. It's White. Pushes ahead for two. They'll mark it at the 17. And the Eagles come to the line in the hurry up. Looking for a man. It's French. They're bringing heat. And the quarterback goes down all the way back at his four yard line. That's his second sack of the ball game. That dude is getting after the quarterback offensively. What's my adjustment? First of all, I'm going to roll out away from him. I'm going to double-team him, let somebody else beat me. Not that guy, because his speed off the edge is killing me.
Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Leaves it with the running back. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. Georgia Southern brings on the punt team. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. And the return man is stopped. And that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. Line gets set. First down. To the ground with the back. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. I know it's sexy to throw the football, but if you can pound it away and get these kind of gains, they will just add up, wear the defense down, get first downs, and ultimately get some points. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. The hand to the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Great job by the defense. Everybody firing off the ball, hitting their guys, holding their gaps, running to the football, nowhere to go. A third down play coming from the 32 as they try to keep the drive going. Looking downfield, it's Crowder. Safe completion on the screen. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. They were banking on the yards after the catch, but that went into the negative column. Yeah, and I'm banking on the ball coming out quick. When, when I'm a defense and understanding third and short, understand they're going to throw the ball really quickly, try to make a play. The defense knew it, broke on the football, made a nice tackle to force a fourth down. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. After that latest answer tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was looking for a lot more on that one. Instead, he's out of bounds at the 14. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Georgia Southern in a hurry. The give to the back. At the 45 on his way. And he almost ran away from everybody on that one. A huge pickup on that play. Yeah, I tell you what, I'm always keeping track as a defensive coordinator of where they're running the football. You can see they ran it to the right. Do they like this matchup? Is the right side of their offensive line really good? I'm going to be paying attention to that because that's a big game. i got to make sure I shut this down the next time they run it. They're going to ride this running back. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. There's just so much for this defense to think about right now. They've had strong side runs thrown at them. Now the counter. They know that this offense can work in the play action off of all these base runs, too. So much offensive volume this defense needs to worry about at this point in the game. The give to the tailback. Not much running room. He's got one down to the 12.
Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. On third and short, they'll ride the running back here. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the eighth. And I don't care if I get it by two, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. Georgia Southern will have it now, first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Not much room. He gets one down to the seven. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. And they get him down. I think he does a really good job on this second down play of being very decisive, getting north-south, making the play, and now setting up a much better third down. That's a play we can continue to run even on third down right now. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. They want to dance their way in on third and goal. Strong, firm tackle. We've been treated to an aerial show by these two guys so far as you check out their numbers. Can't wait to see how this fourth quarter is going to go and see who can come out on top in this barn burner. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And now they regain the lead. All field goals are not created equal, guys. Kicks in the fourth quarter and take the lead. They just seem to carry so much more weight. So give that young man credit for getting out there and knocking that thing through the uprights. All the pressure, all the eyeballs on him, he delivered. So after the last drive ended with a field goal, the kickoff team out there to send it away. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. They think they can create space here with the run to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You see, this is what great defenses do. Great defenses swarm to the football. So when you do miss a tackle, it's not the end of the world. There's another guy right there to wrap him up. Great defenses seem like they got 12 guys on the field. Nice job swarming to the football, engulfing the running back. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Throws for the tight end. Got him downfield. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That quarterback has a hose. That dude could throw it through a car wash and not get it wet. Great job of putting that ball on a line to his wide receiver. The Trojans moving quickly to the line. Hand off from the gun. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. It's just so nice to know you can start off on first down with positive plays. Positive yards, hand the football off, set up a good second down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. They go to the draw. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. Well, I know this is an offensive line that has a ton of pride, and they want to come out each and every game and really impose their will on the D-line. They got just enough push there on that run play to pick up the first. And the Trojans are rolling down the field. Back to pass. It's Crowder. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. 
Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots, you read the quarterback's eyes, make sure you take away that quick stuff, and a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. That offense having to deal with the last thing you want on first down, giving up a sack as they come up to the line on second down. He's looking to throw. And the pass is incomplete, jarred loose by the hit. Well, that looked like it was going to be a completion, but how about the defender making the hit and forcing the incompletion? Third and long from the 42. If they can get some of it, it might give them a chance to go for it on fourth down. He unleashes a long one. Makes the grab. Touchdown, Trojans. And they've moved out front here in the fourth. And it's now the second time this wide receiver has scored. Another outstanding job with the route. Great job securing the catch. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he's going to bring it out of the end zone. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. On the ground, it's White. Out across the 20 to the 21-yard line, a three-yard game. The Eagles racing to the line in the hurry-up. Wide receiver shows motion. They'll run it from the gun. Tripped up at the 25 after picking up four. And you know, when we talk about great third down defenses, it really starts with them getting stops on first and second down. You've got to get those stops early in the drives to set up third and long. So that's a missed opportunity on that second down by this defense. So they're facing third and short from the 25. Back to throw, it's French. Just gets rid of it to the running back underneath. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. I'll tell you, this quarterback has just been in a great rhythm all game long. With that last completion, he's now over 300 yards passing. Georgia Southern about to snap it on another first and ten. They'll run it to the right side. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Linebackers moving, trying to confuse the quarterback. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. The play-action fake. He makes the catch, but the official's right on top of it, signaling out of bounds. Even if they don't convert, picking up a few would give them a decision to make on fourth down. It's third and long from the 45. From the gun, wants to pass. Wide open downfield. And a big-time grab there. Knocked down immediately, but not before he gets it to the 40. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of 
the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story and it goes a long way in deciding who wins a football game. Going up top on first down. With the catch, it's White. And he broke one tackle on the way to a solid pickup there. Sometimes it's not about a fancy play design. It's about just getting him the ball and letting him play. Especially nowadays with running backs being so good out of the backfield. You know they're going to catch it, and there's so many ways to use them. But exactly, get it to him, let him break tackles, let him make plays. Easy decision. That ought to be enough to move the chains and give Georgia Southern a first down. And this is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. They'll put it in play from the 27, first down. Give to the running back. And I think they'll give him two on that one, second and eight coming up. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. When those guys, those running backs come in, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Free snap motion in the backfield. To the air, it's French. Looking for his man. He caught it. Touchdown, Georgia Southern. And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. I think one of the most underrated things we talk about with the QB is timing. Being able to get the ball out of his hands to his receiver where he can continue to catch the football and run with it. Nice pitch, nice catch, nice play in the fourth quarter when you needed it for this team to take the lead. If he can make this one, the lead will be three. He's got it, and the lead is up to a field goal. So a drive there of 82 yards. On the move from inside is five. And the returner is stopped. Now the Trojan offense returns to the field. After standing on the sideline and watching that long touchdown drive, they really need to put something together to give their defense a rest. And that's a real thing, man. Like, you, you played a lot of plays, you get worn out, you need a chance to go decompress on the sideline, get some oxygen. Palmer, now it's on this offense. Yeah, this is the definition of complementary football because it's a two-pronged problem. You've got to score points and answer, but you've also got to take your time and give your defense an opportunity to get their win single back formation and they give it to it good pick up on the ground there give him five to the 16 yard line third down conversions are a huge stat and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off got it in the middle it's Ross and he converts on third down as he gets it out to the 26. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And he tried to do all he could. He broke one tackle, but my goodness, guys were hitting him left and right in the backfield. This is a staple for any good defensive coordinator. They want their guys to swarm to the football to gang tackle. If one guy misses, another one's there. No doubt. And the staple for the offensive coordinator and the offensive line coaches, block those guys. Don't watch them tackle on guys. Works ahead for a couple. They'll stop him at the 27. Third down conversions, always a huge stat, and they've got a third and long from the 27. 
back to throw. It's Crowder. Right down the middle. It's complete. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And as a quarterback, when you're facing man coverage, you've got to find your best one-on-one -on -one matchup. That receiver did a tremendous job. Quickness, changing direction, out of his break, able to create separation. There was no question the quarterback was going to target that receiver on that play. Trying the left side. Still on his feet at the 45. They'll finally drag him down, but not before he gets it to the 40, and it's a first down. I think Jesse and Reese could call offensive plays for any team if they're having this much success on the ground. It starts with the ground game, right? Like, you can chew up these kind of plays, then I can play action later on and take shots, but right now, defense has first got to stop the run game that's been chewing them up. On target to the left. Gets him down at the 26. Big play there. Give him 15 yards on the game, and they move the sticks. The Trojans with the first and ten. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Grabbed in the middle. It's Connor. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. Caught over the middle. It's Dalton. He gets it all the way down to the five-yard line. A terrific catch and run before he stopped. That throw and catch, a really good example of why coaches don't want a quarterback to get stuck on a particular target, isn't it, David? Yep, that's exactly right. Find the guy who's open because you got so many guys that have so much speed that can do so much damage on the field. Find my matchup, get it to him, let him do the rest. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. Offense trying to pay it off on second and goal. They'll try to pound their way in. Touchdown, Trojans! They move on top here in the fourth. Man, I love this offense, being able to run the football late in the game when it matters and punch it in for the touchdown and, more importantly, take the lead. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point is good, and every point counts. It's now a four-point lead in the fourth. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. Dropping back, it's French. Not much of a chance there. He just had to get rid of it to avoid the sack. After the quarterback and receiver failed to hook up, they'll try it again on second down. Now they'll run the draw. Tried to move that pile forward. He maybe gets two. He's down at the 21. They're strong and they're scrawl. Defensive tackles, they're scrawl. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. On third down, going up top. Throws to the wideout. Can't make the connection, and the defense 
putting on the heat and forcing the incompletion. And now such a tough situation. Late in this game, you're trailing, but now it's fourth and long. Like, it's one thing if it's fourth and short. This makes it even more difficult. you got to have something dialed up you feel really great about. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Guys, the Troy offense returns to the field. A handoff keep working on that clock. And a really short game before he gets a whole bunch of company from the defense. And I think if you're the head coach, defensively now, obviously, you've got three timeouts in your back pocket. You're trailing at this point, and the offense is going to be running the football, trying to bleed the clock. They're going to take as much time off the game clock as they can before snapping it. You've got to start thinking about using some of those timeouts. Power football with the run. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. We've reached a two-minute warning in this offense, trying to milk this clock and keep time on their side. Now, if they can get a stop on this third and ten, expect an immediate timeout. Looking to throw, it's Crowder. Oh, did he find a hole in the defense? The expressway is wide open. Slippery slide, find his way and ran away from the crowd into the end zone. Touchdown, Troy! And you know, late in the games, offenses sometimes get conservative when they got the lead and they got the ball. I love this offense. They were aggressive. They got another score added to the lead. Now you're trying to salt this game away. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is up and good, and they have an 11-point fourth quarter lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Fielded in the end zone, it's Cobb. Not nearly as much as he had hoped when he brought it out of the end zone. He'll be stopped at the 15. Georgia Southern has it back, ready to go to work on offense. They're going to open this drive with a pass. And the completion to the sideline, a solid pickup, but not enough for the first down. This offense has a second down play. He's looking to throw. Grabbed over the middle. It's Cobb. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. It'll be a first and 10 from the 29. He's going to pass. Got it in the middle. It's Cobb. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Well, the drag route's put in this playbook to fight against man-to-man -man coverage. So there you see the receiver using his speed, working his way across the field. He gets separation on the DB, trying to trail him, makes the catch, turns it upfield for the first. Quick tempo, no huddle offense, second down, clock's running. Unloads to the wideout. And it's intercepted! A turnover for the defense. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. Yeah, this is almost icing meat cake, right? Like, late in the fourth quarter, you're up by two scores. Exactly what you want to do. Get a stop. Now you force a turnover. Get your offense back on the field. And now you want to do this. Tick, tick, tick. Linebackers trying to create some confusion. So, guys, we'll have another look at this Troy offense. One man in the backfield, and he gets it. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Quick timeout call by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. 
No reason to do anything here except keep it on the ground on second and five. They'll try the run. And the stiff arm was strong, but the defense was stronger, and they stop him for a short game. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. Ball just inside the 40 at the 39. It's third and short. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Well, the defense finally able to make a play, getting a tackle for loss. They haven't had many of those today because this running back really has answered the bell. They knew coming in they were going to have to give him the football, force feed it to him, and let him go to work. He's done that. Well over 100 yards rushing in this game, and the defense just has not had the answers consistently for him. Georgia Southern has it back, and here comes the offense again. It's a long shot, I know, but you have to keep fighting till the bitter end, Jesse. But they call it a long shot for a reason, because they've still technically got a shot. I know it's not great, David, but let's see these guys fight to the end. It's not great, but keep fighting. Keep spinning that pill around. Use every second on this clock to try to get this game as close as you can. Now it's second and 10 from the 15. To throw, it's French. He's taking a deep shot. And just not enough field to hold that one. It's incomplete. And the defense is playing with a sense of urgency right now. Obviously, they're playing with the lead. They know this offense needs to find a way to generate points, expecting a shot on that last play. So nice job in coverage. And here we go. Final play of the game right here. On third down, he drops the throw. And down he goes, and that's going to do it. Didn't have much of a chance there, and the defense puts an exclamation point on this one.